Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you the easiest way to get a taxi in Istanbul, Turkey. Now for those of you who don't know, the taxis here can be kind of hit or miss as to how honest the driver you get is gonna be. So you can hop in any cab, especially if you're foreign or you're not from the city, then a lot of times you can get in a cab and might get taken for a ride and might have to pay a little bit more than you would otherwise. So there's a really easy way to get around this. And since there's no Uber in Turkey, if you're wondering how you can get a cab, especially if you don't want to grab one just off the street, maybe you've got an early morning flight. So you've got a flight in the middle of the night and you're not gonna be able to grab a cab just off the side of the street. Here's a real easy way to get a taxi when you're here. And it makes it very easy to both find out how much it's gonna cost, how long it's gonna take, and you can get a cab anywhere at any time. So let me show you. This is B-Taxi, and this is not an ad, but a look at a popular taxi app that works in Istanbul and Ankara that can solve a lot of problems for visitors. B-Taxi is used by a lot of people in Istanbul, locals included, and it should be very familiar if you've ever used any kind of ride-sharing app. B-Taxi is similar, except it's limited to select licensed taxi drivers as opposed to true ride-sharing where anybody can become a driver. This is limited to taxis. B-Taxi is a free download for iOS or Android with the option to toggle between English and Turkish and you can set up your account using an email address or connecting through Google or Facebook. Now you want to do the setup before you get to Turkey and the reason is because when you're setting it up it requires a phone number for you to verify so it's going to send you a text message with a code that you enter into the app and that's going to verify your phone number. If you're abroad and you don't want to use your phone number here or you don't have an international number then that might be difficult and a little bit cumbersome to set up so you're better off just setting it up when you're at home when your phone works. Set it up you can use any phone number international or otherwise and just get it set up before you get to Istanbul. So that's pretty much the setup, although there are a couple of other options you might find useful. Like one, you can add if you travel frequently with pets. So if you've got a cat or a dog, they are required to be in a crate, but you can set that as an option that, hey, I travel frequently with my cat or dog. So the taxi driver is gonna know that you have your pet with you. You can also add if you're visually or hearing impaired, and that might be useful for a lot of travelers. You've also got the option to add a credit card. So you can add a credit card. So when you get in a cab, you don't have to worry about exchanging cash. And these days where pretty much everything is contactless, you might wanna do that. You can also, if you want, set your preference to cash and you can toggle that between cash and credit card depending on each of your rides. So now that you're set up basically to call a cab, all you have to do is find yourself on the map. It's gonna have GPS enabled, so it's gonna find you on the map, but you can also change your destination. So if you wanna set it up, for a pickup somewhere else, or maybe the pin isn't quite accurate, then you can just move that around on a map and you can see all the different taxi options you have in your area. You've got three different car options. So you've got this regular, medium and large basically. And for most people, if you're just traveling around the city, if you're just sightseeing and you don't have a lot of baggage with you and there's just two or three of you, then the first standard car will be fine. But if you're traveling to the airport, for example, and you've got a lot of suitcases, then you might want to opt for the middle or this turquoise option, which is a larger car, essentially. It's just got more room inside. It's got more trunk space as well. And one other nice option about B-Taxi is before you get in the cab, you can use the share option. So what that does is it shares somebody like a friend or a family member. It shares with them the trip that you're taking. So your starting point, your destination, your estimated time of arrival, as well as live trip updates as well. So if you're traveling late at night or you're unfamiliar with the city or you simply want an added layer of reassurance, then you have that option also. One thing I've noticed on B-Taxi is that the drivers don't cancel very often. So it's not like a lot of other ride sharing apps where they'll cancel on you. And on the flip side, B-Taxi has a very generous cancel policy for the user. So you can cancel a ride without getting charged for it. So there's no fee for calling a cab and then canceling it, but you know, don't abuse the system and just be courteous. Another handy feature is this fare calculator. So you can put in your destination and your starting point. So let's say from Taksim to the airport, for example, and B-Taxi will give you three different routes. It'll show you three different route options, as well as the distance, the time to make that trip, as well as the cost. So you can get an idea of how much it's gonna cost before you even call a cab. So even if you're not using the app to get a cab, you can just grab one off the street and then you'd have an idea of at least how much it should cost 
But if you're using the app already, you might as well just call a cab using that. You've also got a couple of other advantages using BTaxi, which is if you forget something in a cab, like your wallet or your purse or your backpack, you can get in touch with the driver of the last ride that you took. So it keeps records of all the rides that you've taken. So you can get in touch through the app by calling the taxi driver and it doesn't reveal your phone number to the driver so it keeps it private so there's that level of privacy there built in as well so if you need to get in touch with the driver for whatever reason or you forget something in a cab then you can do that through the app obviously btaxi is not perfect you can always get a dishonest driver but the rating system there like most ride sharing apps helps ensure that those people get weeded out and you're probably going to get somebody who's going to be honest and since all the payment is happening through the app anyway and you can see your route then chances are you're going to get to your destination on time and honestly and pay what you should be paying for that amount of a drive so generally speaking you can find a taxi on btaxi at any hour so if you have a very late night flight or an early morning flight you can usually find a cab at any hour there are certain times like holidays or peak hours when those things come together you might have trouble finding a taxi at really at certain times but those are pretty rare in the year most times you're going to be able to find a taxi with btaxi so if you're coming to Istanbul, BTaxi is a really easy way to get a cab and just sort of forget about all the potential pain in the butt it can be with dealing with taxi drivers abroad. And it's gonna remove a lot of headache for you if you're coming to a city as massive as Istanbul. It's gonna be a lot easier to get around using a taxi, especially since there's no Uber here. If you rely on that a lot in other cities, then BTaxi is a good alternative for Istanbul and Ankara. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about using the app down in the comments below and while you're down there hit the like and subscribe buttons i'll have new videos for you every week thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video